Hi, I'm Jim Zwack from the Davy Institute, North America's premier tree research laboratory. And today we're talking trees. Our trees are the heroes of our landscapes, standing strong and providing shade and other great benefits. In fact, you might think nothing can hurt your trees, but trees can be particularly susceptible to tiny but mighty pest threats. Even though small in size, certain insect pests can be quite harmful, especially in large numbers. Luckily, there are some general signs of pest infestations that you can watch out for to catch them before they become bigger issues. Joining us to discuss these pest threats to your trees is one of our local experts, Allie Buchanan. So Allie, what are some things we should look for that might indicate an insect problem? Well, just like us, we don't like insects in our home. Trees don't like to be infested either. So it's important that we're out there inspecting our trees and that we're able to detect early warning signs. Let's review some of the early warning signs of a pest problem. Pests infest trees in a few major ways. One sign you can look for is chewed foliage. You might see tree leaves that are bitten or have small holes in them. Different insects will eat different parts of your tree leaves. Some may focus on the foliage, leaving only tree veins, for instance. Another sign of pest damage is foliage that looks distorted. This happens when sucking insects pierce leaves and feed on their sap. Along with things missing from leaves, you might also find additions on your trees that are signals of pest problems. White spots could be thousands of scale insects, while cottony white masses could be the egg sacs from aphids. You might also notice a black, sooty mold on your plants, which is a fungus that grows on the honeydew that some pests, like aphids or scale, excrete. There are also insects that bore holes into the tree wood, whether it's to lay eggs or to feed on your tree. This tunneling and boring can disrupt the tree's vascular system, blocking water and nutrients from making their way to where your tree needs them. All of these damaging activities can lead to stunted tree growth, yellowing or thinning foliage, and general tree decline. While some problems are minor and can be cleared easily, others may reveal bigger problems that need a treatment program to eradicate. Diagnosing tree pests is certainly not easy. It takes hours of education and training and practice for even experts to be able to identify pest problems. As a homeowner, you're on your property more so than anyone else, so you're able to detect subtle changes in your landscape. Once you do, it's important that you contact a professional before the problem becomes worse. Thanks, Sally. Embracing a comprehensive and proactive tree healthcare program can help thwart insect infestations and identify underlying health conditions that might make a tree a more attractive target for pests. Early diagnosis can also mean more positive treatment results. Remember, every pest is different, so contact your local professional arborist for guidance. As always, thanks for talking trees.